Hi, Tristram. It's great to have you here. Hi, Charlotte. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me. That is a pleasure. So I'm very excited today because Tristram and I are here to show you something brand new that um, has arrived on the B Corp Climate Collective website. So Tristram, do you want to give us a little tour and explain a bit about the tools that people can find here? Exactly, yes. So a team of researchers at Oxford University with partnership with a number of uh, business networks and leaders have brought together a huge aggregated database of all the sorts of tools, resources, guides and support that you would want in your journey to net zero. We've pulled out at the very, very top as well some of the key themes that you would want to take in your journey to net zero. So starting off with measuring your current emissions, setting targets for where you want to go, building this into your strategy and governance and more. And we're about to take you into a bit of a quick tour now about how to dive a bit deeper into this and find the resources for the problems that you're facing. Fantastic. So when you scroll down that page, Tristram, we can really just see a little glimpse into one of the windows of the tools library, can't we? So there's heaps and heaps of tools to explore, and we'll be talking to you later about exactly how you can find just the tools that you need. Actually, also Tristram's showing us the bottom of the screen here, which shows you that you can also submit resources. So the idea of this library is it's ever growing, it's international, and we're really hoping that businesses all over the world will continue to share tools that have helped them on their journey so that this library can become ever more comprehensive. So um, this is just a how-to guide of how to get started using the B Climate Tools base that we now have on the B Corp Climate Collective website. So first up, what would I do, Tristram, if I'm looking for tools to help me reduce my company emissions? Great. So to help you reduce your company's emissions, we have a whole bunch of resources. This is one of the things that we've pulled up at the very top as one of the key themes. So you'll find right here a reduce your own emissions tab. If you click on this, you'll now notice a green filter here has been applied. So it's filtering the library to find all the resources to help you reduce your own emissions. So you can have a scroll through here and we've got a whole wealth of things, whether it's reducing emissions from transport, food, energy, whatever it is. All right, so the next question we have is what do I do if I'm looking to measure my company footprint? So to measure your company footprint, this again is one of the key themes we've drawn out at the top. And you simply just have to click on measure. And now you'll see this has applied a different filter to the one we had before. And now this is all the tools and resources for measuring your footprint. We should also explain that this is not just for footprint measuring. There are all sorts of measurement tools you might want in here. So for example, how to could measure the benefits of your governance for climate um, to emissions and to all sorts of other things. Fantastic. So is there any way that I could dig a little bit deeper and filter within measurement? Yeah, exactly. So if we go up to the top here as well, this is a good time to introduce the framework, which is essentially the structure underlying the database. So we have so four... does, this, does this work like a picture explaining to us the filing system behind this complicated tools base? Exactly. That's exactly what this is. So we have four main things that you might or categories you might want to filter the library by that we've tried to break down into simplistic uh, overviews for you. So First off is a pillar of action. So this is reducing your own emissions, reducing your value chain emissions, uh, changing the way that you're thinking about this in your business and strategy governance, and then helping to change the way that other people are thinking about this, so influencing action throughout society. And then each of these is broken down into an action block. So the specific problems and areas that you might want help with in each of these. The second major category we have is the progress cycle stage. And so for each of one of these action blocks, you would want to go through a cycle of setting a target, planning, proceeding, and then publishing. You'll notice this is very reminiscent of the race to zero criteria, which we'll get onto in a second as well. And then finally, there are lots of different types of resources in the database. So we have reports and research, we've got guides, interactive tools, case studies, and initiatives and alliances that you can join. We've designed this framework in such a way that it should unify and support all sorts of other frameworks that you might be used to thinking about. So whether this is the race to zero starting criteria that we just mentioned with the four Ps, or whether this is the exponential roadmaps pillars you'll see right here, um, or all sorts of various different ways of thinking about this, hopefully you can find what you're looking for in some way here. The framework is being updated all the time, um, so come back later if it's not got what you're looking for and we'll do what we can to support your problems. So one of the things you might be wanting help with right now is how to measure your working from home emissions. This is something that's a big thing that's coming into lots of businesses and it might not be something you're so used to doing. So if we go back into the framework, we can see under reducing your own emissions, we have something here called working from home. So I can add a filter into the database that is the action block that we just saw. And I want to search for things that contain working from home. 
So now this is filtering the library for anything that is a measurement tool to do with working from home. And we can see that it's found four resources for us, two that are technical guides from the Greenhouse Gas Protocol, one short guide from Bulb, and then we've got here a guide and a bit of report and research. We can click on this to open it up, and we can see that this has been reviewed and said it's an excellent guide that defines a simple and easy to use process. So this would be a great resource to get started with. You would just click on the link and it would open up this resource right for you in your browser. Okay, so now another type of question. What do I do if I'm looking for tools to help me motivate my team to take net zero seriously? So this is a great place to start with any of your climate action in your business, whatever size. So you might remember from the framework that we had something called establish the need for change underneath the business strategy and governance. So if we click on the tab here for strategy and governance, this will pull up all of the resources to do with strategy and governance. If we're just looking for the ones that help us establish a need for change and motivate action here, we can then sub-filter again. So just like we did before, go to tier two action blocks, but now instead of working from home, we're looking for establish a need for change. And so now this has found all the resources that's do with establishing the need for change. So we have an interactive tool here from chapter zero that guides you through the process of aligning on your motivations and criteria and targets for action. We have something here that explains the differences between one and a half and two degrees of warming. So a really fundamental look at why we're even aiming for one and a half in the degrees of warming in the first place or a limit there. And also things here for like building the business case for climate action. There's a whole range of things in here. And it's great if you just have a look around and have an explore. What do I do if I'm looking for tools, but there's just something that doesn't seem to be in your fancy picture. There's something that isn't in that infographic or framework. I can't seem to find it. So I don't know how to filter for it. What can I do then, Tristram? So say for example, you are a tenant in your office space and you don't directly own your own buildings. Now you'll notice in the framework, we didn't have anything for tenancy. So maybe you'd want to search for things with the word tenant in to see if we have anything. The first way you could do this is just simply clicking on the search icon and just writing in tenant. That says tent. <laughs> and so we can see that we've got three resources that is now highlighted in yellow that we can then flick through. As a further step, now that we've found that there are resources to do with tenancy in here, we could then apply this as a filter so we can only see these resources. So now I filter for the resource name and then add tenant. And now I can compare side by side the resources here to do with reducing our emissions as a tenant. Uh, many of the resources and tools that we reviewed through the database, some of the best ones have been from B Lab and B Climate Collective. So this would be a great starting point if you're looking for resources as a B Corp. So for this, it's very simple. You just simply add a filter as we've done before. And now we're looking for the host organization. That is which organization has published the resource that we have in the library. So I click on this and we would just write B and then space and everything to do with B Corp, B Lab, whatever, is now here. So we've got eight resources published by B Lab. The best practice resources, the new climate justice playbook, how to clarify climate emergency, and more. And you'll also notice there's a button at the bottom of the page if you've got any feedback for us, because we plan to grow this library. Um, this is a project which we hope will um, develop over time and more and more organisations in the coming months will take action on getting to net zero. So thank you so much for listening. And thank you, Tristram, and for the team at Oxford for all your hard work in bringing all these resources together. Thanks so much, Charlotte. Thank you. Enjoy. Thanks so much for joining us today. <laughs>